Hey dolls! Welcome to my channel, Lisana Does Things. In this video, I'll show you how to build your fabulous Impressions Vanity PlayStation 2.0 drawers. I purchased this back in March and it arrived in June, so sit back, relax, and enjoy part one. So these are things you're going to have to need um, to get your drawers set up. So you have your little booklet with all the instructions. Um, this page right here to not use a power drill. And I'll tell you in a second why. I thought it was easier to kind of drill these in um, using this. And I damaged one of the items. So, oops. Um, so it's going to give you like some tips to set it up. Um, all the instructions are here where to put what. And then you get your finished product. You're also going to need a screwdriver. Um, so something like this will do the job and get it done. And I think these are called flatheads, but I could be totally wrong. Um, yeah, just something with a flathead and a hammer. Super easy. So once you unbox everything, you want to get everything organized and put everything together on the floor with the similar numbers. I have these long boards over here. These are um, the front part of the drawer. And you can find the numbers kind of on the side. Let's see, this one is a sticker. So you'll see the number 11 right here. Um, other ones have the numbers printed with like a stamp or something. You'll see it right here. That's number 13. So you just wanna set them all up together in groups and make sure that everything's where it should be. And then um, you should be good. On these cardboard boxes, I don't know what they're called. The number's gonna be imprinted on the back. So this is five, that's 10, 15. And then you have, um, these are the base of your drawers. Then you have all the hardware that you're gonna need. It's right here and it's super overwhelming because you have all these little pieces. Um, you just have this box right here that doesn't really, it's not really labeled. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Um, it's just kind of like mixed hardware. So it does, the bag itself is not labeled. So I guess I'll have to really take a look at the instructions and make sure that I have everything that I need. These are the knobs. You have um, more hardware here and glue. Um, I don't know what I'll need the glue for, but we will see. So this is everything that came in the box. Um, there's a ton of styrofoam, so you can kind of see it all over the floor, um, just so packaging wouldn't get damaged. The one thing that I'm not showing you right now because it's in the other room is the glass that will go on top of the table and here it is. It's super long. This is the six, the 59 inch length I think and it's gorgeous. Thankfully everything um, came in in pretty good condition. Nothing is damaged. So let's get started. So you're gonna look at the instructions. The first one says, take board number three, and there's a little sticker right on the top that says number three. And you're gonna take four of these little screwdriver things. Four of these screwdriver little things with your screwdriver, and let's get started. So you want to grab your screws and drill them into the pre-drilled holes closer to the middle. Thank goodness you did not see my booty crack in this part because I would have had to reshoot the whole thing. Once everything's screwed in, you want them to be flush, um, basically meaning that it's touching, it's smooth, um, and this is pretty much how it looks like on all four ends. Looks like I have to do the next uh, same thing with step number two. So I need to grab the same screws that I had and grab drawers six and six. So go 
right ahead and drill that into the bottom pre-drilled holes. Step number three, I need four of those same screws and I need to put them into um, that plyboard number 11. So I'm gonna go look for that now. But as you can see, there's a lot of styrofoam inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that little flat screwdriver um, and then see what we can do to clean it up. Instruction step number three says you have to grab board number 11 and board number 11 has three holes on each side and then one in the middle and no holes on top so when I grab number 11 there's only two holes on the side one hole on the top where that shouldn't be so I'm worried that I have the wrong one or it's been mislabeled so let me go ahead and check again to see if I can find this board number 11. Okay, so that was a really close call. Um, this is the board I'm looking for and it's also labeled number 11. So I'm gonna put these away and use these. But that is super confusing. So here's your finished product and I just wanted to give you a close up of what this looks like when you use a drill. It chipped the paint a little bit so that's why you want to use a screwdriver for most of it. So after step 3 is complete, step 4 says that we need to grab one of these little screws of 009C and a 011C. We need two of these, six of these with your screwdriver. Um, and yeah, this is confusing. So I need to get a drawer slide um, and connect it to number eight. Okay, so I just learned something. If you go back to page number one, um, it kind of tells you where which screw is which screw. Um, so the one that I need is 009C and it tells me that it brings 70 of these and uh, this is the size. So I'm gonna go grab a ruler or a tape measurer to make sure that I have the exact size because as you can see, three different sets of packs. So we have this one which brings um, the 002C, which are these right here. And then it brings these little screws, but then I also have um, two of these bags, one of these bags, and I don't know which one is which. So, as you can see, they all come in with assorted screws and little knickknacks on the inside, and I don't know. So, I'm gonna put these to the side, um, and I'm gonna come right back to get a tape measure. I have my tape measure right here, so I'm gonna take one of these screws that looks more identical to what's in this little map picture and see what I can do. So I'm looking for the screw that's 3.5 by 12 mm. So I really don't know how to tell if this is inches, like these little lines are inches. But if these are inches at the bottom, I don't know how to measure millimeters. So I'm just gonna go with my <laughs> educated best guess. If you have a ruler, definitely take out a ruler, but the 3.5 by 12 mm is the smallest one of, out of all the screws here. So I'm just gonna roll with it. So this is the way you want it to be facing because you want this little tip to come out. Um, but it really doesn't match the picture so that's why I'm super confused. I mean, they're, when they get these, they all come in this packaging and they all look the same, 
there's no there's nothing that says otherwise that they're different. I'm really confused. Whatever, I'm just gonna take my chance. It's just because the picture it looks like it's open. Or maybe I'm supposed to pull it. I don't know. Alright, I guess if I screw this up, I screw this up. Okay, I think I see something here, but I don't know how that or what the Oh, I'm so stressed out. Because it looks like it's just this piece that comes out. Do I have to pop it out? Well, there you have it, dolls. That's part one of building your sleigh station vanity drawers. Stay tuned for part two to see how big I messed up. Hit the like button and subscribe. Tell me in the comments section how long do you think it took me to build the drawer. And just one drawer, not two. And I'll tell you the truth in my last video.